that we're working for the calls that you want to We make sure everybody has their stuff charged, electronics. We're working on um, live streaming tonight so that we can reach out to, to some of the other occupations as well. Just keeping the website updated and making sure everybody's out here communicating well. I mean, I work with media, but I'm also kind of helping out with the kitchen. And making sure time. people know where medical is. That's just right. Kind of, she is all just over wearing the place. A couple Young queen. My brothers, you need to come out and meet this young Definitely. queen, this young yes. beautiful sister. Yes. And she's going to be for you. This is all Exposed Magazine, we went, but we also with Occupy the Hood. But basically it's all one. We just trying to get the young African Americans to come out to support. And the older okay. ones. And okay. the older ones too. Okay, neglect you No, know, Like I said too, um, I'm with comedian activist Miss Teddy. You know, That's also, right. I'm a comedian too, a conscious comedian. That's so right. it basically runs in our genes. And That's I want right. just great activists right here that been doing work in the city to break it down why it's important for the black Americans to come out. Well, I want to thank you first of all for interviewing me. It is so important for our people to come out and to support this because so many of them are struggling. There is so much that they don't have. And it really hurts me to my heart to say this, but there are so many of my people of color that never volunteer for anything, they don't have the that to never donate, never donate anything. I'm talking about the individuals that I know personally. They can hear about somebody getting shot and this and that. We need to put the buzz out in their ear about this occupation. They heard rumors, they spread rumors, but spread the truth for a change. A lot of them will probably just up and freeze up and drop dead because they're not used to spreading the truth. You're right. They're used to these false rumors. So we're saying to you guys, Grandma, with all your wisdom and knowledge, and Grandpa, and the grandkids, and the students that are going to school, bring them and let them become part of this powerful occupation. Let them know how people like Dr. King and all these other individuals, Ms. Like Rosa Parks, that I personally got to meet, how these people gave up everything. There was a cause, and they believed in it, and we need to pass this on. For all of you all that do nothing but hold your hand out, you might get a shock for this time. Um, the city has not allocated any money for the poor, for emergency services in the Department of Social Services. And I got this information from Tom Butcher, one of the head men with Adult Protective Services. So therefore, when we go to City Hall Monday, we're going to have to shake down, throw down. Because that means that anybody that has an emergency during the winter, there is absolutely no money there to help anybody with anything. And our mayor just received $62.3 million. And that sucker needs to take that money out and divvy it up and make sure that you take care of the less fortunate. Actually, they should be first. I think y'all don't really understand what, what Miss Ted is. Um, it's oh. what she, you know, actually is really oh. saying about the Thank homeless. You. We have a whole lot of homeless population All going on here, and there's no help for these people. You know, so we we have to come together, especially the black people, to come together. Mm -hmm. You know, and be on one accord. That's that's basically it. And, yeah. and can I just say, this here is all inclusive. So we want everybody mm -hmm. and everybody to come out. I mean, just mm -hmm. even if you're not here during the day, mm -hmm. just show your presence when you can. If you got to work, drop the kids off. Come out here. If you need to go home at night, go home at night. Come back during the day. See what we're talking about. Just add your input, especially during the forum. Um, this Sunday, we're going to have a celebration. We'll have about seven, nine speakers. We're going to have a couple bands out here. Um, and for all those are, that are interested in music, we have arts and entertainment. We have a um, cultural group. We have a media group. We have facilitation. We have sanitation. We have meditation in the mornings. We have yoga. We have just about everything. So if there's something that you do that you want to bring, we actually have a skill sharing set. Um, so that everybody that has something different to bring to the table can just come and share. So whatever you do, it's one of here. Trust. That's right. All right, so I'm part of the Raise 5 Project at VCU, um, and we focus on HIV prevention and substance abuse prevention um, with the youth. And with that, I just want to throw a couple of facts out there because HIV is still a problem. One in every 16 African-American men will be diagnosed within a lifetime, as well as one in 30 African-American females. So you got to kind of you gotta kind of pay attention because it still is a problem. Problem. We have a Facebook page, um, facebook.com slash raise five project, Twitter slash raise five project. You can find us anywhere and um, we'll have a website up soon.
All right, girl. Man, we here, man. Occupy the hood, man. That's Occupy what? Richmond. We all one. So Come on what? Out support. Come on out. Definitely we support need us. your support. We need it. And we need your supplies. Absolutely. It has to be. And the city government is working so hard to try and get this right because they know this moment in history. And if we show the world once again how to spill blood, then we've lost our opportunity. This is a unique opportunity in the history of humanity, a city that shepherded the Civil War and spilled all that blood. Our brothers, our cousins, our fathers, our uncles. Unspeakable, obscene blood spilled on American soil. But American and Ameri North, we're one. And that's what Occupy is about. We teach our kids in school, when there's a fire emergency, you stop and you drop, and this is how you check it out. And then, depending on what you check out, this is how you proceed. This is a global stop, drop, let's figure out what's going on and how we can get out of it. We don't just yank the door open and get melted into, burned into ashes. We gotta stop and drop. And our city government right now is doing an amazing job at standing back. Monday night, there's supposed to be an emergency consideration under expedited uh, procedures to create some sort of moratorium or temporary suspension for some amount of time while we figure out how to deal with the laws that tie their own hands. They at City Hall are in, in civil disobedience of their own laws by not enforcing them. They're not our enemy, they're not our opponents. Hand in hand we'll figure this thing out. We can and we will show that we're more than the capital of the Civil War. We're the capital of civil transformation in no city in this country or on the planet will have any excuse that they can't figure it out. We've got to get this one right. There's little time left for all of us, the whole of it. I'm gonna get some many, more many scientists and, and, and philosophers over the time have, have understood that there is, you know, there is powers and symbols that, you know, that we have ancient symbols and and just by glancing upon them, you know, we 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 have they have a power over us. They it's kind of hypnotized us, basically. Exactly, it's a hypnotic spell. Yes, lots of things are hypnotic spell. That's why when you write out a word, it's called spelling. But say, for example, we have one right there. We're looking at the back of it right now, but the, the front of it is a step pyramid yep. at, the, at the foot of the Federal Reserve Third. Bank. You know, and what they have on their, the ancient symbol that they have on their money is the pyramid with the all-seeing eye on the top. Right. So, you know, what it says, it doesn't say U.S. dollar on any of our, on any of our money because it's not a U.S. dollar. It's a Federal Reserve note from a private international banking cartel that's owned by international banking families that have not changed over the years. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the J.P. Morgans. Morgan, an agent of the Rothschild family. You know, there, there's, you know, there's, there's a pyramid and then there's the capstones. And the Rothschilds are at the top of the capstones. And so are the Rockefellers, and a lot of them, they share family members. And we were just talking about, you know, um, you know, the presidents all, you know, being related to one another. And, and a lot I didn't mean to cut you off, Mr. No, Scorsese. Break down this Barack Obama relation for all, just for the people, break down the president's relation. As far as I know, the research I've done that, uh, um, that the current president, Barack Obama, is related uh, um, to uh, George Bush and Dick Cheney and, and others through somebody named Ann Dunham. Um, and Dunham. John Kerry, too, is uh, another I, one. I think so. Uh, yeah, I, I, yes. I think that. I, I don't know enough to verify that, but I'm, I'm, I think you're, I, I'm sure you're right. Uh, um, uh, we, we have an issue with that. Um, many people don't know that you know, Barack Obama's grandfather was one of the founders of the Central Intelligence Agency, along with George Bush's father, George H.W. Yes. Bush, and, and you know, his father, Prescott Bush, who did business with the Nazis, but so did so did the you know World Jewish Council. What is your view on everything in the world or just in general? I think that um, 
basically our society is going down with it like like the ancient Romans are. I think that's a lot of basically why we're all here. Is to try to keep that from happening, try to instill change in society. Um, the biggest problem I see is that there is corruption of all three branches of government uh, by the hands of the economic sector. I mean, even the Supreme Court has been hijacked when it comes to Citizens United versus the Fed, you know. Okay. Uh, money is now expression, in my view. If money is expression, so is that. I speak as an individual, not for the group. I will preface these statements of what I think with I, as it applies to the unbreakable principle of dem democracy, and as it applies to the whole group, we will uh, distinctly differentiate from those two different types of conversations. So along with that, this is our community kitchen. Um, there is a designated staff, but because we are all a community, anyone can participate because everyone has the competency to apply their, uh, you know, their willingness to help. Okay, this is our kitchen. And we, for, our, for the kitchen, we always need water. Water, lots and lots of water. Water. And lots and lots of bleach to keep things uh, sanitized. Um, we need cooking utensils as well. We need cups. Um, we need like just basic food stuff. Coffee, napkins, paper towels, um, varieties of different um, dry goods, things with rice, beans, staples. It's getting ready to get cold and as the occupation moves on, we're going to need foods that are, are um, sustainable for the human body in the winter. And it's, and it's really, uh, you know, a self-explanatory situation. That's the core of this democracy. What type of stuff would you need if you were outside in the wilderness? All right, this is our food tent. This is our food tent. We store a lot of dry goods here. Uh, as you see, we still have water, but humans consume a lot of water. Our bodies are 70% water, so we consume a lot. Um, here are, are some of the clothes donations from Comfort. We all we always need clothes because, as I mentioned earlier, it's getting cold, and we want to be able to facilitate the, facilitate the needs of those who may not have anything warm. This is the mission that we have agreed on to equally share everything that we have, without the pretense of one being in control of one thing. to attend to the, the, the health and medical needs of people. This is our medical tent. As you see, another um, effective tool of democracy is being transparent. We have nothing to hide because all of this is for the betterment and promotion of what we're doing here. This is to, for the well-being of the people. We need um, a strong, this is perhaps what we really don't have a lot of. We need a lot of utility uh, 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 goods, utility equipment, uh, brooms. We need towels for cleaning, uh, all you know, spectrums of cleaning. We need uh, rakes. We need um, shovels. Um, you know, just your basic, you know, landscaping and uh, utility, utilitarian type things of a democratic spirit. We need uh, shelters. We need more tents. More tents. More tents, more tents. One of the key forces of democracy is the ability to house people so that they can feel comfortable, so that they can operate as a safe and secure unit. I hope I've covered to a nice degree um, a lot of the needs that we have within this community. And I want to thank all of you for coming down here and giving your time to take time to uh, through uh, the media and through um, audio to help us out. We really need help. And remember, we, we are fighting, you know, intelligently for you, all people in America. We all are one.